it really seems to me that people cannot stop bringing up autonomous cars and vehicles and self-driving to me, in what feels like a thinly veiled attempt to undermine the desperate need most of the world has for more transit. So yeah, I'm doing it. This is why autonomous cars will never replace transit. The clear first reason that autonomous cars aren't going to replace transit is capacity. Whenever I hear a self-driving car tech evangelist talk about how self-driving cars could form giant convoys, I really do wonder if they've ever heard of a train. The problem is, all of the ideas people have for self-driving cars ultimately are just replicating trains, uh, but worse, or leaning heavily on the mess of highways that requires a crazy amount of space to move a diminutive capacity. The vehicles are also worse. Have you ever tried to move 1,500 people quickly into a bunch of cars? Good luck. Trains in particular can use their larger size to create large spaces for wide uniform doors and full flat floors. Well, never mind. There's also the issue of efficiency. Is a convoy the most efficient way of moving a ton of people with cars? Yes, but that's like saying signs saying share the road are the most efficient way to deploy bike infrastructure. Sure, it might sort of work, but it's fundamentally flawed. Tires have lots of rolling resistance, and cars are never going to have the same aerodynamics and energy efficiency of a train that isn't carrying batteries around. Unless... I really don't think the efficiency trade-off of having so many individual low-capacity cars is ever going to compete with a well-designed rapid transit line with good connecting transit and walking and cycling access. But hey, that's what cross-platform transfers are for. Creating transit so good that even non-transit people like it. That's the ARM Transit way. As someone who has a degree in computer science, I'm also deeply skeptical that the technology for self-driving will be advanced enough for mass adoption anytime soon. Creating a basic system that can drive isn't too crazy, but creating one that can drive in the same range of conditions as a good human driver, well, that's simply going to be a long way away. And there isn't even consensus on whether the sensor suite should be all cameras, or cameras and LiDAR, or I don't know, carrier pigeons? The lack of consensus and lack of regulation mean that people haven't even agreed on how an autonomous vehicle, you know, the ones people love to comment are a year away, every year for the past 10 years, should work. This is a problem that's basically been solved in transit. Put the basic necessities where people live, a la Hong Kong, or within walking and cycling distance, a la Amsterdam, and just make your train lines automated, something that we've done for decades and are actually really good at. Unlike cars, the fewer degrees of freedom of a train makes automating them and actually proving they're safe possible, today and decades ago. And technology like platform screen doors make dangerous situations almost impossible. You might say, uh, of course it's better than nothing, right? Don't you want safer cars? Well, of course, but better than nothing arguments are bad ones, and the truth is cars are the problem, not who's driving them. A car takes up more space per person moved while moving or while parked, and have a ton of inefficiencies because they're small. Cars also, more importantly, encourage city decisions that are even less sustainable than the cars themselves. When your city is super spread out, you have less people to support more infrastructure, more pipes, more fiber lines, more power lines, everything. And that's simply not a situation you want. Ultimately, the biggest problem though, the one I think nobody talks about enough, self-driving cars simply aren't here. Because no, a few suburbs of Phoenix are not representative of the real world. And cars that can't tell trains from stoplights will never gain my respect, because an AI incapable of doing some basic rail fanning is not one I'd want driving me around. Self-driving cars are like a slightly less fantastical version of the Hyperloop. They don't actually exist as a real option, and anyone who can do basic research will see this, which means proposing them feels like an attempt to just delay or undermine transit. And sure, maybe someday we will have autonomous shuttles that will help make transit a better low-cost option for extremely low-density places. But even then, transit isn't going anywhere.